Hi guys, Yaka here. I've been playing a bunch uh, with uh, Highlander Druid, trying that one out, and uh, other people than me has uh, have had uh, really good results with it. I kind of I'm struggling a little bit. Uh, I'm still learning the deck. I've played it a lot, and I do misplay with the deck a lot, um, but still. Um, when I started p testing this out, I, I looked at the different uh, stats tracking websites and stuff like that, and it was really underperforming. Um, and I would say that this is not a straightforward, a powerful deck as uh, many other decks are. Um, it does really have a high level power end towards it, like getting the survival of the fittest into where you corrupt your carnival clowns and dropping a, a board of 8-8 eight, eight minions across the board that feels amazing um and then there are of course others you can generate some crazy stuff out of dragon queen alexstra so you have Sephiroth, which is also a great card um to, generally the deck is really fun to play it's just difficult, and when you're up against, for instance, Shaman, uh, or like any aggressive deck, um, getting under that curve is really uh, a challenge. Um, initially, when I started out, I had a, a, an acidic swamp boost in here, uh, which could work fine when we're not against the um, weapon classes, to have like an early drop, but just counter um, Shaman just a little bit more in the current meta, I put in the Cobalt Sticky Finger. And that's been working quite well when I do get it and I'm up against uh, um, Shaman. Other than that, it is working like uh, many, uh, I would like to say, regular Druid builds where you really want to ramp up. And you do have two ramp options in here that you do want to mulligan for almost always. And that is wild growth and overgrowth. Um, however, when you're up against like a shaman or a demon hunter or whatever might be the case of these. That is usually skewed towards uh, being an aggressive deck. You won't throw away stuff like crystal power, lunar eclipse, wrath. You want to keep those as well. To have some kind of early, um, early presence, early control of the board, and Sephiroth is also always a keep. Even if you don't get any ramp, uh, you could drop Sephiroth on two to get ramp on three, uh, if that is something that you deem is important in that specific matchup. Um, yes, I think that is kind of it. You do have like replenishment with Wise Rosh uh, in the end as well, where you generate Carnival Clowns. You have Strong Man. You can also generate their Moon Touched Amulet. So you'd have different corrupt cards in here for a little bit of a late game push, and also like a complete panic button. You do have Yoxeron, Master Fate in there as well. Um. I will leave you with a little bit of gameplay, but do remember to subscribe and uh, comment, like to the video. That really motivates me. It's 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 so uh, amazing for me to watch when whenever you guys are are uh, getting in here and getting to learn the deck and whatever I am presenting here uh, on the channel. Um, what? Let's head on into the gameplay, and you'll see uh, what the deck is all about. Uh, do be careful not to craft it, it's not that great, but if you do have the cards, it's great fun to play. See the opponent. That's the rogue. Generally, it's like any other druid deck, you want ramp. York might get me out of a tough spot, but I really would like the ramp. Arr. Okay. 
I have only did one mulligan. So, Zephyrus could be Swiftly. something that works. If it's a more value oriented rogue, it should be. I don't think Dragon's Hold is usually run. I'm, I'm, I should be in a better spot if it's a more value, value rogue. Wild growth off the top. I never lie, but I never tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we can How curious. put it to a single point of health. Being that we could have swipe being the answer for whatever is dropped, or even just a hero power. Is it gold in the shadows? Okay, when swipe works. Cool. <laughs> Get it? Cool. No more niceties. No more niceties. <laughs> then Umbral Owl is actually online for whatever threat is coming. If it is a green is very good. If it is a Highlander build then um, Flick is also in there, meaning that my carnival clown, even if I duplicate it with Elise, is probably not going to be all that amazing. <laughs> Tricky, apparently. Okay. Apparently, this is really Swiftly. awkward. Love the feel of wind in me, say. Omu. Just do this. Get rid of that one. And if he trades in, then I can uh, Luna Eclipse into Overflow. Maybe. I'll overdraw one. Right. One, two, yeah. Let's see. Maybe we need to do something else. 
how much time? Like eight spells before Yogg is active. This very much resembles Highlander list. Could it be ambush? Hmm. I'll just Nature try and leave it there. There we go. Right into my trap. <laughs> I was actually going to say you fell into my trap. There we go. I lose Neladar. And he has to take some kind of consideration before he can. Uh, Get rid of the three six. Queen. So many contradictions. Let's try for the original game plan here. And we'll see if we get any free cards. I get lightning bloom, that's good. I cannot hold any more cards. Oh, it's double draw. Stand the time run low. <laughs> that <clears throat> oh well I didn't know or did think about it but just ended up ignoring it Winds of the sun come to my aid. two spells Noob self. Nature speaks to us. Listen, Mamboozle. Nothing else, then I could survive at the fittest. So there's a blackjack starter, a coin, and two other cards. Hmm. 
but also Dragon Queen first, then survival. Dark in the sky. Could also do that and then survival the fittest and then noob and noob south. That could work. to get another Sephiroth. What is she fishing for? Of course. So far, this is not really threatening. Okay. Is it York time? Let's go. Mm, probably eat them. Okay, control them. Result. One stab, finish him. Oh, there we go. Can I get rid of it somehow? Then I can carnival the clown. Uh, this isn't doing anything, this isn't doing anything, and this gets me a draw. Next For the next act, world domination. None of this is really too crazy. Like pop, pop, hero bomb. Got there. 